We're back. Yeah. Welcome to another episode of the Crawl USA podcast. I'm Scott. I'm Jason. We hope you guys missed us, but we're back. Today, we have a mid-season update for you. That's what we're going with. All right, so we've taken four months off. Almost, yeah. Yeah, do some work on your Jeep and uh, do a little repair on my Jeep. And here we are. So, uh, we redid your front suspension. We did uh, long arms, ORIs, new towers, full hydro. What else? Is that it? Is that everything? Yeah. Stretched it out two inches, inch and three. Three, oh, three inches, really. Oh, wow. Okay. Um, it's kind of hard to tell the difference between two inches and three inches. <laughs> right it's about the same. Uh, um, <clears throat> so we took it for a, a easy shakedown. Kind of easy shakedown. It's funny how that's evolved, right? Yeah. Right. That was. Those were some trails for us. For a while and now yeah, they're back, just back in the day <clears throat> now we just kind of cruise through them um pucker falls i knew bad hair day we were halfway through it before i realized that was the trail we were on and like oh oh yeah this is the trail i thought we were just still getting to it um and then doug's doug's is always a good time so how are you feeling how's that jeep feel now feels good i'm glad that um uh, Nothing broke, nothing fell apart, so. Okay, watch the video, see anything concerning? I welded, it held it. <laughs> Fair enough. All right. All right, good, well we're back um, in the, the wheeling business. And today we just wanted to talk a little bit about what we have coming up next. So, I think first, what do we have coming up first? Labor Day week um, in Farmington. Four Corners, four by four week. So that's the Fall Crawl and uh, the Wee Rock. Grand Nationals. Yeah. Right, so, so a little bit of history about it. Uh, it's organized by the Cliffhangers Four Wheel Drive Club. Shout out to them. Uh, and Straight from their website here. In 1978, the Cliffhangers Four Wheel Drive Club was formed. The founding members uh, were looking to build a club that was safe and family orientated. Now the club has a member base that is involved in trail development, land management, four wheeling events, and much more. Um, so this has been going on for years, right now. 46 years that club's been around which is quite a long time. I don't know how long this actual event's been going on, but it's a week-long event uh, Starts on Monday and they do do it for a full week in Farmington. Farmington's great. They um, oh, uh, Shut down uh, Main Street, I guess it is Yeah, there's a downtown invasion on Saturday night, right? Yeah, which is pretty cool A um, couple different events going on there music, food, everything going on. So, so it's really great. Um, it's the second through the eighth. The wheeling is the fourth through the sixth, which is Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. Uh, and then Saturday, they do the We Rock Grand Nationals. Um, you can watch, or you can wheel uh, on the backside of everything that's going on. Uh, it's a really cool event. If you haven't been, the area is great. Um, you know, strangely, last year was our first year going to the area, um, but it was a really good time. Um, and <clears throat> uh, looking forward to going back. Yeah, me too. The wheeling's great there. The rock, um, <clears throat> it's very similar to, to Utah, right? That sandstone, real grippy. More of a white beige color than a and kind of the red, orange in Utah, but uh, very similar as far as the attraction and type of rock, 
type of wheeling. It's good. Same kind of levels. There's easy stuff. There's moderate stuff. There's hard stuff. There's extreme stuff. Uh, that first thing we went and saw was pretty wild. Uh, I don't even know what it was called. I can't remember. Uh, but where they were coming up, we came up on the top and they were down below and coming up by those trees. Oh, where they were doing the front digs to make that corner? Yeah. Yeah. That was pretty wild, so. Um, and it's set up like pretty much any other event. You go meet, get set, and roll out at a specific time. I think we meet at 8 and roll out at 9, um, if I remember correctly. And, you know, it's a, it's a great time. Um, <clears throat> you know, it's kind of off subject, but uh, we had a, I believe we had a comment or maybe just a comment, a direct message. Someone said that they're not really into the big events. Uh, I think we've had a lot of success at the big events. Well, not all the big events are the same, right? I mean, it's just it's kind of different than like a, a Jeep Beach or... Jeep Safari where you're, you know, you have tons and tons of stock or nearly stock vehicles and it's more, um, I don't know, I mean, with the events that we go to are pretty focused on rock crawling. Yeah, yeah. So, maybe a little different. And I think, you know, this person that, that made the comment, I know the one you're uh, thinking of, and I had the same opinion um, about Trail Hero until we went. You know, once you see how it's organized, um, you know, it's not, it's not like King of the Hammers where, you know, like bedlam and chaos and people getting run over and... Fighting. Yeah. Um, not quite, at least not yet. Um, but the, um, you know, the events like at uh, Dempsey Rocks, Wolf Caves, I think they're more, you know, they're scaled down because it's, you know. Yeah, and I think it's it's like any wheeling trip, right? You go with a couple guys, easy peasy, right? It's no real waiting, no anything, right? We blew through three trails on Saturday and I don't know what time we started, but... Well, yeah. Ten? Three or four trails in a couple hours. Yeah. Um, you know, but if we would have gone with a big group it would have been the same thing whether we were there or one of these events if something happens it happens um, but you know we weren't running into other groups really um, you know some breaks it is what it is but <clears throat> you know is is these events have been well organized and good times um, you know and had a lot of fun and met people and seen different rigs and seen rigs do things that I'm not sure how they did it, so. Uh, but yeah, that's my soapbox. I think big vents are okay, um, especially when you get in the right groups, right? The, you know, the more you're built. Yeah, I mean, when you're running the harder trails, if you're at the, you know, once you get beyond the moderate level, I think it. Um, it's not as chaotic. Well, it's chaotic in a different way, but it's not. Yeah, not kind of worrying if people are going to make it over the first part. Right. Right. So um, I don't remember what we did on this event. Did we? I know you have to register, but did we sign up for trails, or do you just go and get in the? You you register, but then you just go and get in the whatever line easy. The, the, yeah, the groups that are running at your level. Okay, so um, it's a great event. Uh, great parking out there. Um, you know, the, the lines get big, but it's pretty well organized. They have side-by-side -side trails. They have trails for everything. Um, it's really great. I'm really, really looking forward to it. I think it's going to be another great event. Um, I'm, we talked a little bit about, I don't know if we decided, but I enjoy watching the We Rock, um, especially that we know some people doing it now, right? Mm -hmm. So that definitely makes it more interesting. <clears throat> which is good so that's going to run you know the 4th through the 6th we'll be there we Wednesday, don't know Wednesday through Saturday Wednesday through Saturday so um, that'll be great looking forward to that and
and then we'll have a month just about to wheel on our own or God forbid fix things if we have to um, <clears throat> and then we'll move over to Trail Hero maybe tell us a little bit about Trail Hero um, well, if you haven't been, it's a, another really great event. We'll organize a lot of people there. I can't remember how many drivers they said they had last year, but it's huge. Yeah. Um, but, you know, if you can imagine, you know, 30, 20, what, a couple dozen to 30 staging areas, all with, you know, 20 plus rigs lined up and ready to go. Um, it, it's it's pretty big, but there too they have side by side uh, trails um, days and you know. Um, last year when we were there, they also had a We Rock um, uh, event. Yeah. Event. And um, yeah, the wheeling out there is just phenomenal, man. It's like uh, Disneyland for rock crawling right if you haven't seen the the videos right the tunnel that's the entrance to it that's great uh last year we'll probably repost this when that buggy flipped <laughs> yeah somebody, somebody flipped the entrance of the tunnel and caused a little backup and um, people were wondering well, how flopped. you do that they didn't, they yeah they, they flopped, flopped. They flopped. Um, yeah you know the trailer was big they've got you know music festival national acts that play like two or three nights and a uh, big vendor pavilion uh, so there's a lot to do there you know I think they have a they have a golf tournament it's crazy big so much stuff right and it's running uh, the second through the fifth and we'll be there of October of October um, on the second we're gonna be running the unforgiven the third we're gonna run front range the fourth is up in the air. Have we made a decision? Mm -hmm. We haven't. Uh, we're signed up for Chain Reaction and Just In Case, The Fallen. Mm -hmm. And then on the fifth, we'll be running The Maze. So uh, really looking forward to that. Um, there'll be a lot of great sponsors out there. Um, if you wanted to talk to them or see some of their stuff, they have some of them have free swag that's pretty cool um, you know I I think for me you know I think you know seeing Maxis again will be pretty cool um, <clears throat> they had a big booth out there last time um, you know and that's a it's a great place if you haven't been it's something you should definitely think about going if you're interested in this kind of stuff um, Man, it's just amazing uh, for us, it's a bit of a haul, 10, 11 hour drive, but I think every time it's been worth it. So mm -hmm. This will be our third time. Yeah, third time in San, ha in San Hollow. Yeah, so uh, that'll be good. I, I think for me personally too, I think they, ha I hope they have some more merch, right? They ran out pretty quickly. So, I mean, you can always buy it online, but there's something cool about buying it while you're there. Like a concert, you can always get a concert T-shirt, but it means something when you get it at the show. Yeah. So you can wear it, and no one cares. I was there August of '96. Yeah. Then the uh, the chili challenge also in October, the 16th through the 19th, and um, <clears throat> we'll be leading uh, uh, trails there got uh, some of the hard groups for Chili Challenge. So that's all. Yeah, we'll be down there on Wednesday. Uh, uh, October 16th, I believe it is. Uh, we'll be leading Batman. It's a rated six trail. Uh, Thursday we're going to run Old School and Back to School, leading that the Seven Trail, Friday's Green Canyon and Cabin. Uh, we'll see. We'll see about that one. Um, we got a lot of people signed up for that one. 
Doing good, good. You, if you're going with us, you might get to see me pee my pants a little bit, but we'll see. Um, my Jeep's a little bit different than last time I ran it, so we'll see. Last time uh, my front end came up, up a little bit. And There's a, if you haven't been on cabin, the last obstacle on there is notorious for flipping people. Yeah, so going over backwards. So, but it's it's not a big deal if your tire placement is good. <laughs> I guess I didn't have good tire placement. <clears throat> so, uh, is this it? Um, I can't tell. Well, that looks like Godzilla. Uh, oh yeah, that's Godzilla. Uh, Godzilla is a great one too if you're going down. Um, and then Saturday we're gonna run backstage pass. It's rated a seven. I don't remember that one at all. Yeah, well, you'll remember it once you get there. Okay, so uh, that's our mid-season update uh, for us on what's going on at this point with everything. Uh, I think, you know, that speak for both of us. I think we're pretty excited that the Jeeps are ready and can be back out there. Yeah, it's usually more fun to wheel than wrench. They're both fun, but you know. Yeah. So, um, <clears throat> we got uh, some comments uh, on on the YouTube. Uh, we appreciate that. Someone commented. Commented. It was who was this? The eight five seven zero five commented about stacking rocks. We think that's a pretty good one to cover. So you'll see that in a future episode. Um, but do those things. Like subscribe. Uh, leave us comments. Let us know, right? Because um, we like talking about different things, and the more people are interested in the things, the more we'll talk about it. So, yeah, and let us know if you're going to be at any of these events that we mentioned, and um, you know, let's uh, make sure to say hello. Yeah, that's we're great. All, we're all there. All right, that's all we got. Thanks, everybody. We'll see you next time on the trail. Later. <laughs>